Hi guys, welcome to another episode of For the Sake of What. I hope the world is treating you well. What? Ever you are doing. Right, today we're going to have a look at uh, comping and we're going to um, look at how we can comp multiple tracks at the same time so we don't have to do each individual one separately. So if you've recorded a drum kit or if you've recorded a stereo guitar with multiple mics and you want to edit your comps all together at the same time, well, this is the video for you. So watch along and I'll explain more. So at the moment... I've got a comp that, um, here, so if I open that up and I open my second microphone, so I recorded these two at the same time, if I try and move the one to where I want it, you'll notice this one doesn't move. So what we want to do is group these two tracks. So to do that, um, you need to select both, hold shift down on your keyboard to select both of them. Then you need to come up to mix at the top and from there you need to click on create group and you should get a little pop up here it might appear um, embedded but you should get something like this right so in our group here um, you can give it a name so I'm going to call mine guitar uh, and within that you need to check the editing so that means every time we edit um, our, one of our tracks the other tracks within this are also going to have the same thing done to them. Uh, so this is great when you're editing multiple drum tracks, but for the sake of this, I'm just gonna use my guitar tracks. And now, with that checked on, if I move this to where I want it, you should see the one below it here also move. So if I move it again, it moves with it. So there you have it, so let's just test that. And it's as simple as that. And if you want want to turn it off, you just go back to your group and you uncheck editing and those tracks will then become separate again. I hope that was useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.